Did you know that how you care for yourself during your period affects your mental and emotional health as well as your physical health? Your immune system is stronger. You reduce challenges with premenstrual syndrome or PMS. Proper period care is seldom talked about in Western culture and yet plays a pivotal, a pivotal role in reducing period problems and strengthening your body all month long. In this week's episode, we look at why self-care isn't selfish during our bleeding days and what you can do to improve your health today with these simple tools. Hi, I'm Adrienne Irizishner, who is passionate about women's health and helping women live their best lives. My goal is to put you in the driver's seat of your menstrual health, offering period solutions for a symptom-free life. Statements made in this program are for educational purposes only and not intended as a substitution and not intended as a substitution for medical consultation or advice. We do not claim to diagnose, treat, or cure any diseases. This podcast is inclusive and welcomes all gender identities. The focus of the program is on biological function and we will use the term women throughout, referencing physiological and social challenges for biology not identity. Come as you are. I am happy you're here and welcome all performances of identity. I hope you find something helpful in this show. Welcome back to another episode of the Reproductive Rebel, the Reproductive Rebel podcast. So we've been talking about the Eastern medicine view of different phases of our life. So we talked about The first golden opportunity for health being menarche, when girls start their periods. And then we talked about menstruation, what you can do about it. So if you are just joining us this week, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. A lot of the basic biological overview of this topic was done in episodes three through seven. And the last three weeks, we have gone on a journey of what do the the seven-year cycles look like in a woman's life from a Chinese medicine perspective. And then we've covered menarche and menstruation. So we've been going on a little bit of a journey. So if you are new to the show, again, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I would encourage you to go back, encourage you to go back and check out some of those episodes so that you have all of the groundwork information for some of these conversations. And if you have been listening all the while, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. This week, we're going to be talking specifically about the period. So I know that last week, so I know that last week we talked about menstruation. We were talking about menstruation in the grand scheme of the entire month and the phase of your life. But let's specifically look at the period itself. So as we discussed in a previous episode, the period itself is the shing. So when you haven't gotten pregnant in a given month, the body goes through before ovulation, it goes through this preparation process to get your uterus a nice cozy home for a potential baby. Whether that is your social, emotional goal or not, your body goes through this prep process on a bio bio level every single month. So there is a blood-rich endometrial lining that's created, ovulation takes place, and if there is no fertilization and or implantation and a pregnancy doesn't progress, then that unused endometrial lining has to go somewhere. So your your period is actually a cleanse. It is a flushing process. The blood is the flushing mechanism to push the lining out of the uterus in order to essentially clear the slate and start again for the next month. So, So the period itself is the beginning of your new menstrual cycle month. Now, menstruation should only last four to six days, and generally the heaviest day of your period is day two. For some people, it's day three, but for the vessel, that heaviest flow day is day two. So your body is doing kind of a big process during this time frame. It takes a lot of resources. So there are ways that you can support this bleeding process 
in addition to lifestyle through the rest of the month, but particularly during this bleeding process, in order to optimize its efficiency, improve its efficiency, I suppose optimize and improve are the same thing, but you know what I'm saying. Like the symptoms are reduced and the ability to execute a full and complete cleanse is done in the best way when the body has certain supports available to it. So because it's doing this big process, you want to make sure that you're feeding yourself well. This isn't any different than when you're exercising and you need to provide yourself with proper nutritional support in order to repair muscle tissue after exercise, right? Because with like weight training, for example, you get little tears in the muscle fibers and it takes the good stuff that you're putting in after that workout and after that workout to help repair those tears and prepare for the next workout. It's the same thing with the period, except the period is going to be a little less strenuous. So you want movement during your period, but you don't want too much movement, right? You want to be gentle and mindful with your movement. You are looking to keep yourself warm because the body has to work really hard to keep itself warm. So I look around and I see all of these young lady, generally it's young ladies. There are people who are not you know, in their teenage, early 20s that wear crop tops. The vast majority of people, especially if you've had children, crop tops aren't really quite as much of your thing. And honestly, when your shirt is that short, I did a reel about it a little while ago. I think I did it on TikTok as well. And I was complaining about where's the rest of my shirt. If you have a statement, because not being able to keep your belly warm affects how your cycle shows up. So there, I have this belly band thing. It's called a haramaki. It's Japanese. And it's I, it's like my favorite thing ever. I wear it whenever I'm menstruating. It helps to keep my belly, my belly warm. It adds a little extra support because, you know, feeling cozy in there is just kind of nourishing during that time frame. I don't know about you, but I just want to like curl up under a blanket and hunker down and hibernate during my period and that's an unnormal and that's an unnormal energy to have during that time frame so you know wearing things that are going to cover up to your collarbones is going to help your body have optimal circulation and optimal warmth in order to execute the period appropriately so the deep V, deep V necks, the crop tops, or even better, the deep V with the crop, you're not covering enough of your skin and your body starts to work hard to try to warm the body up. And when the body is going into this warming process, it's actually stealing some of the efficiency of the bleeding process. So keep, so keep your body warm, feed yourself easy to digest, warm, nourishing foods. Those kinds of things are so important because then the body doesn't have to work really hard to break it down in order to be able to consume it. So shred blood bleed, or at least that's the target that we're aiming for, is to nourish your body well, get to bed as early as feasibly possible, ideally before 10 o'clock at night, because then you go into a restoration part of your sleep cycle that is really important for your hormones and setting yourself up really well for your health and immune system and strength and lack of brain fog and all of these vital things that we need for the rest of the month. Because again, menstruation happens at the beginning of your new menstrual month. So how you conduct yourself during that time frame, how much rest do you get? whether you've overscheduled yourself, whether you're wearing enough clothing. Like I remember when I first started this work, my husband kind of joked a little bit that I looked out of place because here it was like 80 something degrees in the summertime and I was wearing capri capris, which were appropriate, right? For the fact that it was summertime, but I was wearing this light scarf so that my summer shirt that wasn't covering my collarbones. I had something that covered my collarbones and protected my neck from draft. And he goes, 
it just seems a little seems a little warm to be wearing a scarf and i'm like i'm doing it because i'm working on healing my period <laughs> and sure enough that scarf paid dividends and i did it over and over and over again and honestly i am now enjoying 8 years of being somebody who has had endometriosis all her whole life and period problems and irregularity and 18 to 22 day cycles that were incredibly painful and needing to, you know, quote unquote, suck it up buttercup and just go to work through the pain some days and wearing this goofy little scarf to the grocery store where when I knew I went in, it was going to be air conditioned in there. And I was going to have the chill from the refrigerated cabinets and stuff because that main aisle way there when you first walk into our grocery store has like the cheese and the dirt and all that eggs and all that kind of stuff, right? So it's, and it's like that in a lot of stores, right? So it's colder in that section. It's colder on purpose. So I walked into the store and I had this light little scarf on. I wasn't bundled up for winter, but my skin was mostly covered and all of the drafty areas were covered areas were covered and making that part of my regular routine over a period of time my cramps started going away my clots started going away the irregularities started to level itself out like you'd be really surprised how far a little bit of rest during your bleeding days will go in terms of setting you up for success and fewer symptoms the next month. It really is kind of mind boggling. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the specifics around around period care, I have a mini course in the Dow of Women Institute called Proper Period Care. It's super short, sweet, and to the point. It takes you through all of the high points of What should I do? When should I do it? You know, easy ways to, you can start this coming period. You can start making a change in your health, your immune system, your vitality, and how you're able to move through your entire month. So I would highly recommend it. Check out the Dow Women Institute. Take that short little course. You'll be able to start putting those action items, those action items into play today which is fantastic. I know this is a super short episode, but period care is something that has lasting lifelong effects and it's critically important, especially if you are looking at trying to have a baby because because your period gives you a, like a benchmark and an organic computer printout of how healthy your body is and how well or not well you have taken care of yourself throughout the course of that month. And when you are trying to get pregnant, your body gets pregnant from a place of abundance. And if your body is perceiving scarcity and your cycle isn't optimal, then fertility will be challenged. And you don't want your fertility to be challenged. So Really, it all starts with proper period care. And whether your goal is to have a baby or not, properly taking your care of yourself during your period changes your experience with your immune system, with your fertility, and everything else beyond it. So I know that I've repeated myself a couple of times how critically important taking care of your body during those four to six days of fresh red blood so that you come out of that experience nice and strong and healthy. And then no matter what your goals are, to get pregnant, to prevent pregnancy, it doesn't matter. If your your cycle from start to finish is healthy, all of your biomarkers are going to be there in order for you to be able to plan. I don't have any intention on getting pregnant. I'm coming into my fertile window. Now I can take proactive steps to make sure I don't get pregnant. So just keep in mind that the period is not the end of the sentence. It's actually the beginning. And if you focus in a meaningful way on the start of your health journey being to properly support your period and how it's showing up, 
You are opening the how it's showing up. You are opening the door for you to be in complete control over your fertility and the rest of your life goals. Because if it's not time to have a baby right now, you can very easily prevent pregnancy. If it is time or you're thinking about trying to have a baby, you'll be able to look at that period or work with somebody like me who knows how to read periods. I have a client that jokingly calls me the period whisperer. You'll be able to look at that organic computer printout and say, okay, I need to support myself a little more with this or with that in order to set myself up for optimal ready to try. Your body will be ready to start when you're ready to start because you are what you eat. You literally are laying the groundwork every single time you go through a full and complete menstrual cycle. Your co organic computer printout in menstruation will tell you how close and will tell you how close you are to optimal fertility or not. So your period gives you some very critical vital information. So proper period care, Dow of Women Institute, it's a short, quick little mini course, incredibly packed with information that you, you can start today in order to make an impact in your health tomorrow. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Reproductive Rebel. Reproductive Rebel is recorded by certified peristeam hydrotherapist, herbalist, sound healer, and Chinese nutritional therapist Adrian Irizari of Moon Adrian Irizari of Moon Essence LLC. If you are interested in setting up an appointment with Adrian for one-on-one -on -one support, ordering from our store, or checking out our course offerings, visit our website at moonessence.life. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter to get insider information on upcoming events. Join the conversation. Like us and follow Moon Essence Me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Your voices make this program possible. Thank you all for your continued support.